Why are people so captivated by the idea of passive income? The idea of passive income is that it allows us to build wealth in a way in which we have to put in little to no effort, or at least that's the common belief. Through passive income, we're able to access several different freedoms that can increase the enjoyment of life. Maybe this is the reason that you're so captivated by it, or maybe not. Either way, you clicked on this video because you want to find out some new ways to make passive income. If you stick around until the end of this video, I'm going to show you four of the best passive income ideas and some of the ways that I'm currently making upwards of $1,000 per month in completely passive income. The first passive income strategy is one of my favorites and least hands-on, and it is staking cryptocurrency and NFT assets. As someone who's been accumulating tons of different assets over the past three years, whether that be stocks, crypto, or mutual funds, I've built up a couple of pretty notable investment portfolios, one of them being being my crypto portfolio. With this large crypto portfolio, I'm able to take assets in this account and stake them on various platforms. If you don't know what staking is, think of it as a way to lend out your digital assets, earning a reward based on the percentage and the amount that you staked, and then getting your assets back sometime in the near future. It's a very similar process to renting out a home and having someone else have access to the home while they are renting it. Now, you do not need a large crypto portfolio to succeed in staking your digital assets. Some staking APRs for cryptocurrencies can be as high as 13% annually for simply allowing other people to hold the token and for you to stake it. So if you put $1,000 into a staking protocol, you can earn $130 per year completely passive. Not to mention the growth of the asset itself as a source of passive income as well. The APR or annual percentage rate for the staking accounts varies, but it's a very good form of passive income because you have to do zero work and you will receive money every single day through the growth of the assets and through the rewards from staking. Once the staking period is done, you'll get your asset back, get to keep all of the rewards that you earned, and then you can repeat the process over and over again with more crypto assets. With a large crypto portfolio like mine, I'm able to earn around $36 per day and $13,000 per year just from staking my crypto assets. Another form of staking comes in the form of lending NFTs. I doubt dabbled with NFTs during this past year, and it was a seriously insane way of earning income. Trading the NFTs themselves was not passive, but the passive part came by holding some NFT tokens and putting them onto platforms that will pay similar rewards to other crypto investments. NFT staking typically returns higher APRs than simply staking cryptocurrencies like Ethereum, but NFT stakes are definitely considerably riskier, so be cautious with your investments. Overall, it depends on your risk tolerance and preference of what kind of staking you want to do. How many times have you heard about affiliate marketing? Now think again, how many times have you been told that affiliate marketing is one of the easiest ways to make passive income? Well, I'm glad because affiliate marketing is truly that easy and it's the second passive income stream on this list. But how can you actually get into affiliate marketing? Well, first, let me give you a good example. Down under my videos, I provide links to valuable products that enhance my own YouTube channel through higher production value but are really useful for up-and-coming YouTube creators as well. Now the best part for me is that not once have I ever needed to mention these product links down below. For example right behind me to my left and right you can see that there are several lights and accessories that people commonly ask me where I purchased. On top of that other things in my office space like this camera that I'm recording on, the lights that are up above me, and this microphone that I record my audio are all accessories that people want to know where I purchased them. I use all of these accessories to bring you guys very high quality content and all of them add a nice touch to my office setup and look good in my videos. Now I don't explicitly mention any of these products or say the link is below at all, but if any of you ever get curious and look down below, you'll see that some links take you to Amazon where you can go and purchase the same products that I have and have a very similar setup to mine. Now when someone makes a purchase using the affiliate links below, I receive a small commission, typically 3 to 5% per product. Commission money is very easy because all you have to do is link a product and that's it. As you can see here, just through my Amazon affiliate account, I've earned about $9 from completely passive commission thus far. This account has only been active for 30 days and I've never once had to mention it besides including it in my description. On top of that, I also have a relatively small audience right now, so I'm banking on the idea that once I get more subscribers on this YouTube channel and more followers on Instagram, my 
my passive income commission will start to go up as well. But as you can see, I don't really take an approach to advertise these products. Now imagine if you created a dedicated channel or social media platform to solely advertise your products. The $9 that I've earned could have potentially been 90, 900, even $9,000 if I was solely working on advertising these products. But it doesn't just end there and it's not only through physical products. You can do affiliate marketing for digital products and other big branded software. In its purest form and like the way that I've done it, it's completely passive because I never mention it and I don't promote it online. The income just flows in. One popular misconception that people have about affiliate marketing is that you need an insanely large following to succeed. This is far from the truth and I'll prove it to you. To sign up for an Amazon affiliates account, which is the biggest affiliate program on earth, you don't need any social media following at all. And on top of that, with how easy it is to create TikTok accounts or YouTube pages solely dedicated to advertising products, you can really succeed through affiliate marketing and you can turn it into a serious passive income stream. Now, this next one is one of my favorite passive income streams because this can be a very large amount of passive income in the form of YouTube automation. If you don't know what YouTube automation is, I've made an entire video guide on it and I've covered everything that you need to know and the ins and outs of success and how you can make up to $10,000 per month from YouTube automation. I've linked that video in the description and it's on screen here. But a quick rundown, YouTube automation is the process of creating a YouTube channel, outsourcing the video creation process in the form of AI or real people. I personally prefer AI and then pumping out content for as little as $60 per month and receiving upwards of five to 100 X return on your initial investment through the forms of ad revenue, sponsorships and affiliate marketing. This one is more passive in the sense that once you plant your seed in the original stages by getting monetized and releasing some valuable content at the start, the money will start flowing in. From there, you're able to outsource all of the steps and you'll be left with the net income of your revenue minus the expenses of outsourcing. I've documented my YouTube automation journey and I'm excited to see how much income I can earn from YouTube automation and that separate channel. I know creators who are earning upwards of $10,000 per month from YouTube automation and most of that is coming from videos that their team created for them. There's a really good reason that a lot of people refer to YouTube automation as a cash cow channel. It's because they generate high consistent cash flow each and every single month. On top of that, you don't even need to show your face to earn this income. These are the reasons why this method is one of the fastest growing ones and why it's becoming incredibly popular, especially with the rise of AI. If you're interested in this passive income stream, I've linked a complete video guide here where I'll show you the secrets to building your $10,000 per month YouTube automation empire. In its purest form of passive income, we have standard investments. For me, my other investment accounts make up the remainder of my passive income streams. Investing is the most reliable stream of passive income because this one has been around the longest and it's the route that 90% of millionaires take to reach millionaire status. Staking crypto and NFT assets, affiliate marketing, and YouTube automation are all newer concepts that have been around for much less time compared to investing in say stocks or real estate. You can invest in any asset class that you desire. These can be split up into standard brokerage accounts, Roth IRAs, real estate, or stocks that receive dividends and even cryptocurrency, which is one of my favorites. It's important that you pick an investment strategy that you understand and have a long-term game plan for executing. For me, I prefer to invest in assets like crypto, index funds, and real estate. Crypto because I believe in its long-term growth and financial benefits. Index funds because they are an incredibly safe investment that balances out and hedges against my crypto portfolio. Not to mention these accounts return 8 to 10% per year just in appreciation alone. So when you combine the dividend income and the appreciation, this stream of passive income can pay off various monthly bills because once again, it takes no work. And later this year, I'll be buying my first rental property that will generate me monthly cash flows as well as have a nice appreciation in value through the concept of principal pay down. Through my streams of passive income, I am able to live pretty comfortably. Combine these streams of passive income with other streams of active income such as my e-commerce brands and online businesses and you'll be very well off. If you want more side hustle ideas that you can implement to make even more monthly income, make sure to check out these videos and like and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate all of you guys for watching and I will see you guys
guys very soon in the next video.